Papa, welcome back to football meme review. As always, I'm going to be reacting to this week's best memes. Opa Mark Voyer. Obviously, this is number one. Okay, what's this? Oh my god. Relax. What the hell? I understand that Opa Mikano dropped an absolute stinker last two nights, but come on, guys. It's just a game. You don't have to go this far going at a player for just a game. Now, McVoyer, it's understandable. I'm joking, I'm joking. You should never go this far for any player. It really will be an exciting matchup to watch. Oh my god. Five men? Since you losers watch it for the plot, you know what's going to happen here? Holland is going to absolutely destroy all these five guys. But 15 minutes in, Rodrigo comes in. <laughs> <laughs> and these five guys will do an absolute comeback and absolutely hammer Haaland. But ladies and gentlemen, my prediction will be for this match that Man City, unfortunately, hard to say this, will go through. I don't see Man City not winning this at all. But again, it is Real Madrid. Rodrigo comes in, Ancelotti does his thing, Benzema, Ramadan Benzema is no more. No! Mark Voyer. Mark Voyer, Man United. This guy. Mark Voyer saying Upamikano get all the... <laughs> Leave me alone! The brother saw Upamikano drop an absolute mass... Disaster class of a performance. Mark Voyer sat there in his room. He looked at this performance, watched it clearly, and thought to himself, Hmm... How can I surpass Opamecano this week? Mm, a goal and a lateral assist against Sevilla. In the first leg against Sevilla, we thought, okay, okay, he has a big squared cubic head. It's fine. Sh happens. The guy shot, bounced off his head, went inside the goal. Okay, you're excused, McVoy. But when you come back in the second leg, the fans expect you to redeem yourself. Instead, you and your cubic head went and took a gun and shot the fans in their feet. This is not even a joke anymore, but this is just genuinely sad, man. How was this guy our captain last season? Your favorite center back might have the streets, but our center back has the entire world. The Arabic commentator. Said this. Did you guys ever see someone say Opa Ronaldo or Opa Messi? <laughs> you don't have the streets like McVoyer. And yes, I am being sarcastic. I want to die. How can you be so bad that they named you on a terrible thing? I'm not saying Upamecano is a terrible thing here, eh? One bad game does not make you terrible, like I said. Jose Mourinho's football heritage interview talking about the difference between Manchester City and Manchester United transfer policies. Do you want other real? No, no, no. I'll give you a, a couple more real. In the last seven years, the worst position of Manchester City in the Premier League was fourth. In the last seven years, Manchester That's City was champion twice. And if you want to say three times, because they will be in one more week, two, three or four. And they, they were seven. second twice. They're on seven. That's heritage. Do you know what is also heritage? Is that Otamendi, Kevin De Bruyne, Fernandinho, Silva, Sterling, Aguero. They are investments from the past. Not from the last two years, from the past. Do you know where are many of United players that left the club last season? See where they play. Where they play, how they play, if they play. Jose Mourinho said nothing but actual facts. Manchester City's success was due to them making 
investments from the past Kevin De Bruyne, Otamendi, Aguero literally most of the players he mentioned are literal icons because Manchester City invested in players that will help them in the long run and Manchester United what do we do we bring in Maguire for 100 million we did not pay 5 million for this guy 400 million the most expensive center back in the history of football you make an investment from the past to help the future we made an investment from the past to ruin our future <sighs> I'm tired of seeing this Ooh, Maguire Great header, Maguire Okay Okay Who is the ball there? Oh! The pace! Maguire! Oh my god, my inner child That reminded me of Cristiano Ronaldo You know when he lost the ball And he Put his head down. <laughs> what was that run, my boy? I'm telling you, it's the big head that is slowing him down. Okay, jokes aside about Maguire and everything. Harry Maguire, if you truly love this club, if you truly care about this club, then you would want the best for the club, right? Now, the best for the club is that you simply not being there if the best player in football history cristiano ronaldo sacrificed himself for manchester united then why wouldn't you and if you leave would that make me jobless yes but would my team start winning probably not oh no ghost of saudi let's watch in the deserts of saudi there lived a ghost he <laughs> loved the most Every night and every day. If it wasn't for penalties, Messi wouldn't have a World Cup. Next. He needed penalties <laughs> to make it through the day. Each day they told us a penalty a day keeps. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. <laughs> the ball literally reached the sun, mate. First of all, that's scientifically not possible. Or you know what? Actually, it is possible because it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Because his legs is so strong, the ball he shot literally reaches the sun. Who else can do that? Probably McVoyer if he headed it. <laughs> But before he became a ghost, okay. he used to be the goat. Well, at least you said he used to be the goat. I'm happy with that. Anthony's reaction to seeing McFoyer says <laughs> I've seen this. Look at Anthony with Dalot all happy, smiling, and look as soon as <laughs> it's, so, it's so well cut out. The brother was like <laughs> That's every Manchester United fan looking at Rafael Varane and then seeing Maguire play. <laughs> oh my god, David De Gea is also to play. Okay, that was fully Maguire and De Gea. In my opinion, David De Gea deserves as much criticism as Harry Maguire. I know David De Gea is unbelievable when it comes to 1v1s, when it comes to saves. But the brother does not have a footballing IQ. When you know... From seasons and seasons that passing to McVoyer will lead nothing but an own goal and destruction to your own team. Why do you keep passing to him? Like, are you? Do you not think, mate? And by the way, last season, we barely got scored on this way. You know why? Because we had Cristiano Ronaldo. David De Gea used to get the ball and just boot it. Because he knew Cristiano Ronaldo would win every aerial battle. That's it for today's episode. I know it was very concentrated on Mark Voyer, but he was the biggest meme this week. Before I end this video, I want to shout out to a couple of you legends. Let's keep it short and sweet. Elton and Flauro Edits. Thank you guys for watching. Send more videos in the Discord below. See you next video and gracias, amigos.